Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World the Game Glacier Episode 2! You guys have been waiting for it long enough and I think it's about time that not only did we do, well, Glacier Episode 2, but unlocked the Andrew Sarkis, the only cavern creature at the moment, and max it up and use it in some battles. But, but, you might be thinking, oh my god, our Christmases came at once! Well, actually, there's one more thing. I'm selling a t-shirt! That's how you can find this t-shirt, is uh, gamingbeaver.fanfiber.com. And uh, I'll put the link on the screen and the description below, so if you want to order one of these special Glacier t-shirts, if you go to gamebeaver.fanfiber.com and use coupon code SNOW, and that has to be in all caps, you can get 10% off your order for the first week only. I mean, we can't have it all the time or else, you know, <laughs> it wouldn't really be an offer or a coupon. I thought I'd celebrate this new update Jurassic World's given us by taking some time out and just taking care of a really nice design, doing it all neat and tidy, giving something for you guys to have. All the designs I do for my t-shirts, I make myself. Like, the one that we're selling right now, this one, the Glacier, me and Fanfiber, we're sort of working together, thinking of, like, a t-shirt to do, because eventually, I want to get to a plushie. I want to get to a beanbag Pecky Eyes' plushie that you can throw about. So, again, this is still fitting in with the, uh, I mean, I like my t-shirt designs being sort of... Like, the most of it is me, like, <laughs> most of it's me, on my face, uh, you know, that I've drawn it, so I've sort of seen it through and I'm quite happy with it. And what else can you be happy with than um, your own uh, drawing? So, also I forgot with these glacier creatures to tap them! I don't know how I missed that, so that's the happy animation. The angry one is that one. Ah! And the uh, same with the uh, bird, the phosphorus, the kiwi bird. So that's the happy animation. There's a little dance. And it's angry animation. If I could tap it. Tap, tap, tap. There you go. <laughs> Does he jumpies? So, uh, yeah, let's let's do this. First, let's have a check. Oh, another 25 million for 5,000 DNA. We are got, we've got so much. I, I really don't know what to do with it all. I've got to be honest. Um... So, it looked like the rare plus pack comes with glacier creatures as well. Indracotherium is in there. Um, are the other super rares in there? Like, yeah, it's aquatic, land, glacier. Everything's in these packs, but I don't know. This, I, I don't think. Oh, or at least that one anyway. The normal super rare plus pack that is now just generally... Oh, they're just generally on sale. Oh, okay. Huh. interesting. Well, th there you have that. So the what hides in the cavern. So this is the new glacier, what lies beneath, but now it's what hides in the cavern. Um, or at least it is for this guy, because <laughs> it is in a cavern. Um, so you get Andrew Sarge's guaranteed, and we'll probably unlock it as well. Um, but you have to use the aquatic creatures to unlock it, which is quite interesting. Uh, let me just quickly go through what we've got. I do have a Kool-Aid, uh, hatching or Super Kool-Aid, as well as Indominus Rex. We've got so much DNA, I'm waiting for, like, we do have Metrophodon, but I don't want to level it up. I mean, I don't want to get a level 40. There's no need for a level 40. That honestly isn't. A level friggin', whatchamacallit, level 30 is more than enough, uh, man, or manpower? Yes, manpower. Scabby Berries is more than enough power we need to take out anything that we can encounter in uh, these sorts of battles. So, um, I think Orthocanthus and then Hernodis, that should be enough? Yeah, just one hit. One, it takes it out. We've got three battles of these to do, and then we should get Andrew Sarkis. So yeah, I'm hoping you guys, uh, or at least like, and you know, the design looks cool. I, I mean, I'm quite proud of it. It's the first time I've drawn a saber-toothed cat, and um, oh God, no. Oh God, no. Um, like, there was a point where I, I was happy with it, and I left the design, I, I went to do something, I came back half an hour later, and I, I looked at it again and thought, wow, that leg is completely wrong, and I was, and now looking at it, I'm like, yeah, actually, yeah, it's really good, I'm really happy with it. So, don't feel obliged to buy it if you don't want to, it's, it's completely up to you. Uh, I was just pretty hyped for the Glacier, we've got another episode, you guys have been so, so patient, because I've been doing, um... Halo Wars non-stop, I did For Honor non-stop. Like, all I want to do is just sort of cover the games as they come out. Um, 
And apparently February is a really busy time for games. You got the Glacier update came out for this. You had For Honor, you had uh, Halo Wars 2. Um, I'm pretty sure Horizon Zero Dawn's coming out soon as well. So we're going to cover that because it's basically giant robotic dinosaurs. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different things coming out recently. And um, when there's like a single player campaign, uh, I just kind of want to cover that and get that all out as quickly as possible. It's a shame with the Halo Wars 2 one because um, it took, like I had so many errors, like I rendered it and it only rendered halfway or it corrupted the file and it, that delayed me a whole day. So really, uh, the day that this comes out, um, where it has been Halo Wars 2, it sh like today shouldn't have been any Halo Wars, it should have all been yesterday, but unfortunately I had to spread it out, so... Uh, some of you guys are understanding, and, uh, I read a comment that really meant a lot to me in, um, on the Halo Wars video. I think it was the cinematic one. I'm not too sure, but it was just, like, somebody saying that, I don't know, there's a lot of people complaining about n there's no dinosaur content, but, you know, I worked my ass off just to get us all this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was just nice to see some support because... I know there are a lot of people on this channel that come here just for, you know, dinosaur content, and I can uh, I can see exactly why. I mean, that's one of the biggest draws. It's, I love dinosaurs, and that's what I do, but I, I also feel like that shouldn't stop me from playing any other games that come out, like Halo Wars 2, like uh, For Honor. And there are people who want me to keep on playing For Honor and other games like that, so... Um, I mean, I, I'll always play games I enjoy on this channel, and that's the way it'll always be. Uh, sorry, my voice is a bit gone. It's just, um, <coughs> I've recorded like two videos before this and uh, my back's actually really hurting and I'm not too sure why. <laughs> um, like for the past couple of days, it's like, I've just been feeling quite weak. It's, I don't know, it's like my muscles have been twitching. Like, ugh. it's a weird feeling. I can't really describe it. Um, but I'm getting, I'm getting better. Obviously, it's been something that's, uh, Either a little virus or a little bacteria that's sort of going now, but, um... You know, when you're recording, you want to be 100%, you want to be hyped, you want to be psyched, you want to enjoy yourself! And then stuff like that happens, you're like, <laughs> But I've still got to record. Um, and the thing is, the whole, what I've realized now is when I think about recording a video, I'd be like, oh, I'll record that. And then I'll think about things to say, and then when it comes to recording the video, which is... Oh, oh, oh. I didn't realize speeding it up would make him die again? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, um, yeah, and then when it comes to recording the video, I forget what to say. And that, I mean, that was always a problem, I remember that, but I feel like nowadays it's happening more and more. <laughs> so, I think I'm just not, not gonna think about what I'm gonna say in a video. I'm just gonna be like, sit down here, and then start recording, and then everything will pop out of my head. Although it probably won't, to be honest. That's what happened. You think about it before and forget it, or I do the video and then think about it afterwards. And I'm like, damn, I should have addressed that. So the final one is oh my god, the blood, the hideousnessness of that team. Okay, they can kill us in two hits, but we'll go for reserve anyway. We got a level thirty Hainosaur and a level thirty Plotosaurus. So. Again, we got over two hundred thousand VIP points. We got over half a million. Sorry, yes, half a million uh, DNA. So no matter what comes out, we're gonna max it like a maxi bar. I think we can still kill it in three. One, two, three. Oh, does it kill it though? Does it? Please kill it. Oh, just, I'd, I'd imagine anyway, that was so close. You can't kill us in three though, I don't think. Definitely not, I can't. If I've got 800, nah. No we. There's no we. Oh, there we go. So uh, yeah, I was reading some of the Glacier comments. People were like, oh, I want to see Titanoboa. And I completely forgot about that. Um, and I'm thinking, would it come back? Because I feel like they just chucked it in with it when it was Jurassic Park Builder. Because Titanoboa isn't a glacier creature. It would die. It's a reptile. It needs heat. But uh, you never know. They may do it. They may put Titanoboa in. Um, the dodo doesn't look like it's going to make an appearance, apart from being a meal for everything else, which is kind of okay. I appreciate that. So here we go. Our first and only right now cavern creature, the Andrew Sarkis, as well as a lot of books. We're finally over 30, uh, 30,000 again, 520. And there it is. Andrew Sarkis is now available to purchase inside the dino market. I'm also going to check the, um, 
the card packs. Ah, I thought they were even cheaper, actually. Because, um... How about this one? Still 50,000. Still 50,000. Way too much. Apparently, the VIP packs, have, like, the membership has went crap all of a sudden. Like, I, for my VIP mystery pack, instead of getting 30 and it being double to 60, it's now a regular mystery pack, so it's 15 double to 30. And not only that, when you renew your subscription, usually, like, when you started, you got a, 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 a pterodactylus, which was awesome. Then it got switched to a solid gold pack, and it's like, oh, you know what, you, you might get a random one, that's cool. And now, if you resubscribe, you get a legendary pack. Not even, or it's a T-Rex or something, it's not even something that's VIP related, which really does suck. So I'm hoping they change that. I'm saying that in this video, because I feel like I know they're watching, so maybe they'll change that. One thing they have done, and I just want to quickly test this out, is they have made packs in the raptor pens more common, I've heard. Um, that was on the update list that came on the app store. It said that uh, winning a card pack is way more frequent. And we've already won one already. <laughs> so that's good. Because I think they caught on that I was not doing it. And I told you guys, and if you guys have been watching my videos, I don't do this anymore. Because it wastes way too many, uh, too much food and other resources, and I don't get much back for it. However, if we've got a more chance of uh, winning card packs, you know, we're not going to win ev one every time, that's fine. What we do want to... <laughs> oh my god, I can't even English anymore, I'm just so tired and so knackered. Um, yeah, that, like, oh, it seems like it's taken more clicks now than before to uh, get it leveled up. Yeah, like, with Halo Wars 2 and with For Honor, I've been pulling, like, all-nighters just to render it. I've been trying to time manage, like, manage my time so well and so efficiently, but the thing is, it's cost me lots and lots of time because I need to render things and record things while things are rendering and upload things while things are rendering while recording things. So it means that I'm constantly on and it's really knackered me. I'm really tired. Um, and I just need to relax, but, <laughs> but then this is dropped. Oh, what? Oh! Okay. Okay, Ludia. I see what you've done. I won a super rare pack, but instead, you didn't you didn't put that in your update. You didn't say made card packs more frequent in the Raptor enclosure. You put that one in, but you didn't put turn down the prizes of the card packs. You didn't put that in the update. So instead of winning 1,250 DNA, I won 180. And instead of winning 250 bucks, I won 30 bucks. And 23,000 food, as well as that. And how many VIP points? Oh no, they kept the VIP, VIP points the same though. And... Yep, there is now no reason whatsoever for me to play this. The only reason that I wanted to do this was to win that pack. And win 1,000 odd DNA. And win 500 bucks or whatever. But now that they've turned down... You know what you win in the packs. There's, there's no draw. There's no reason for me to want to do it. For one, boosted battle arenas very rarely come up, and for what I put in, it's not worth it. Most of the time, I do pay coin, so I can understand that it's a way to trade in coin. But you win nothing now. So, as cool as this looks with all these raptors, um, I'm just gonna. I'm no. It's completely dead now. You yeah, you win more packs, but uh, there's nothing in them. <laughs> so it was better before it was changed. Um, so that sucks because I was expecting that to be good. Uh, so I might as well speed up. <laughs> Damn it! I was all I was all about to be like you know what, Ludia, they've listened. They they've changed. They made packs come up more often because you know I didn't. I stopped doing it. So they probably noticed everyone else did because. Not because I stopped doing it, but because there was no reason to do it because you lost resources. But then, what did they go and do? They turned the packs to... Oh, God. <laughs> they turned the packs to crap. So here it is, Andrew Sarkis. Oh, my God. Look at its tiny, stubby legs. Oh, my God. It's got a tongue and everything. Oh, so here we go. Here we are in the cavern. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Who's oh, that cute little doggy? Here you are. 
Oh, it pines and everything. And it sits. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, uh, let's stroke. Normal stroke. <laughs> oh, that tongue. Oh, that's amazing. And a annoyed. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's going to kill us all. <laughs> Right, okay, let's see. Right, what are gonna eat? I haven't spoiled this for myself. There's been loads of people that have went, maxed everything, Max, here you go. Cheats, cheats, hacks. <laughs> but I have been deliberately not spoiling for myself because I wanted to earn these legit and also, you know, enjoy it. Like, I've earned it, I get to see the new animations and there you go. I don't want to shove it in somebody else's face. <laughs> Because uh, that's the thing, like with the Facebook group, some people will just post the maxed creature. So I would suggest if you don't want to see the maxed creature, just don't go on the Facebook group uh, until like the creature's out or something like that. So let's see. Oh no, not another dodo. <laughs> oh God, yep, there it is. Oh! <laughs> it's head. That was awesome. Oh god, no wonder they went extinct. Jesus. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we gotta feed this up. We we're gonna buy more. We're gonna get this maxed. Uh, we should really max up the mammoth as well, to be honest. Yum. Poor Dodo. If only, like, he swallowed it whole. At least that way it would explain where it disappeared to. Now, the one thing that's sort of worrying me is the way its tongue's quite high. It sort of tells me that this animation has already been impl implemented into other creatures. Because that tongue's not sitting right. It's sort of up. It's like relaxed, but it's up. So, like I said, that, oh my god, I'm just repeating myself. Um, it appears that it's fitting multiple models. So some creatures may have like a higher mouth or may have you know, a weird shaped mouth. So that tongue's making room or accommodating that model. So, nah, it, it doesn't look, it looks, it looks fine. Like the model on Andrew Sarkis looks great, but that tongue looks a bit funny. And that's, that's what it's telling me because that's something that Lydia has had a problem with in the past. The fact that, um, like when they transfer the animation to other models, sometimes the tongue's sticking below the jaw and sometimes it's, it, it can do weird things. So uh, I think that's what it's telling me. That they've, they've already got creatures ready for Andrew Sarkis. And it's, it's very rare that something has an animation that's just for itself, especially if it's something like Ang Andrew Sarkis, which is a, a dog and there's gotta be Hyena Dawn. There's gonna be loads of different things that are gonna copy this animation. Uh, I wonder how many more I need. It's only 800, so it's not too expensive. Or at least I don't know yet, because we don't have any other glacier creatures. And we can't, like, really check them. So that's five, six. We need two more, and that's a level 40. I'm not expecting wonders, because it is a rare. Um, and it's our first ever glacier creature that is a rare. Um, it's the first creature that's not... A normal dinosaur, not a land dinosaur, that is a rare because in the aquatic we had no rares. And somebody commented saying, Beaver, do you want to know the reason why there's no rare aquatics? Because aquatics kick ass. <laughs> and I was like, fair dues, fair dues. So this should be the last one. I might have got one extra, but I'm not too fussed if that's the case. No, I didn't. And let's just um, feed all of the dodos to it. And some of you may have realized that my food harbor is full, but um, I'm leaving it like that because there's about a million food in there. Um, and I just want to feed, like if I was to collect it, a lot of it would have been wasted. So I'm just using the food right now. I knew this was going to be the case. I knew they would release a glacier creature soon enough. And it's just, and because we're in this sort of position where we've got loads of food, we've got loads of DNA, I don't need to worry about um, not being able to max it up. So every time a new creature comes out, we could just max it. And get to see its animations, get to see its attacks, use it in battle. It's going to be awesome. So many Toto's dead. Somebody said it ate Clive. No, it didn't eat Clive. Clive's very much alive. So he's a level 11. Gets a little bit of coloring. Two star. 
Oh, it gets more of a pattern. Oh, that's cool. So, difference between level 11 and level 10. They both pant the same, though. First time, nice. Although, it will be nicer if it does first time on the last one, because then it saves DNA and books. We have to do this quite a few times, though. The first time's great if it was all the time. But, uh, uh who knows. So I'm wondering what kind of order this goes in, or is going to go in. Sorry. Hold on. One, two, three. Yeah. I, why did I not feed you? Oh, God. Still going to call you the land whale. Has to be a land whale still. If that's right, I don't know. I've always, I have always call it land whale because I think I read a comment, which is always the best source of information on YouTube. I read a comment that said that it was more related to whales than it is um, a modern day wolf. So, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. A lot of weird things happened back in the early days of man. Um, or Mother Nature, I should say. What, I, what they should do is actually on those rocks is have carvings, like stone paintings. Like um, cave paintings, that's it. Not stone paintings, cave paintings. That would look cool. I mean, that's what that looks like over there. That's what gave me the idea. That's what I thought it was to start with. So, we are now below 99 million. So, we could collect, but I'm going to wait till it's level 40 just to make sure that we don't waste any, uh, any of the food. Because we need it. Whether it's, you know, maxing up another Indominus, but I don't think there's any need to. We d I just need something. Something big. Some, some hybrids. Who knows? I just need something to spend my money on. It was, um, DNA on. It was nice that Metrophodon came out, but a level 40 is way overkill. There was just no need for a level 40. Um, so we'll see. I mean... Who knows? Who knows? I mean, we did just get quite a big update. There's new arenas, new creatures, new animations, new models. So this is a pretty darn big update. So expecting another one so soon is probably a little bit rich for me. <laughs> so here's a level 21. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like the coloring. Poor Dodo. Doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> So what are we looking at stats-wise? It can kill itself in two hits. I'm noticing that trend with most of the glacier creatures, actually. They can they usually kill themselves in two hits. So if they ever got confused, God knows. Oh, he's got a mohawk! First time? Damn it. So he's got a mohawk and his beard's a little bit bigger. Oh god. I need to find out what Cavern's weak against or good against. I still haven't- Oh, it's got its eyes closed in the lab! So in the test tube, that's so cute! Oh, stop being adorable! So, four star is it? Yeah, four star. Ah, oh, here it is! Mohawk Wolfie! With a bigger beard, which makes him look like he's very fat. And it's got weird lighting on it! Or that, or it's just dark. Looks like a lion. Huh. You know, I expected to like its level 40 more than its other forms, but it looks weird with its beard. I don't know. Nah, it's still just as adorable. Okay, go kill the dodo. <laughs> Yum. Awesome. Poor dodo, doesn't stand a chance. Oh dear. <laughs> Lowest of the low, bottom of the food chain. I'm going to keep it level 39 in case I want to see that animation again, because that looks awesome. So there we have it, maxed. Uh, should we do the mammoth as well? Should we? Should we make a level 40? I don't know, because then if we get level 40, that's all we've got is one mammoth, unless we spend another 10,000. So what we'll do, can we, what's the VIP? Yeah, I thought it was normal creatures. We'll do the live arena, because we're focusing on the glacier this time. So, stats-wise, hmm, I think it would be on par with level 20 Super S, so that makes sense. Um, again, can easily kill itself in two hits. Smilodon can kill itself in two hits. Phosphorcus or whatever, Kiwi Bird can kill itself in two hits. Mammoth is really the only creature that can't kill itself in two hits. And it looks like Cavern is good against snow. So this is the um, cave. This is cave, snow is surface. And Savannah is grass. Sorry, um, reef. Hmm, okay. Well, we need. Well, I don't. I want to see its coming in animation, so I want to have it last, and I also want it to win. 
So, um, I'm going to have a last and hopefully I can win. If we come up against Entelodon, that would be great. Because we haven't seen that. Yes! Oh, it is maxed as well. And it's going to come in so we get to see it. It's not first. Holy crap. So, apparently, I've seen, um, that, um, oh, Elasmatherium, that's it. How could... It's names right there, damn it. Elasmatherium, um, when it is level 40, I... In that video, I said, I wonder what level 40 looks like, and it was right there in front of me. Oh, look, we went below the uh, surface of the map there. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently, um, Elasmatherium doesn't get a big horn when it's level 40. It just gets quite a few horns running up its back. Um, which is interesting, I suppose. Oh, we're dead. I didn't see that. Ah! Oh, also, you know what's wrong about these this, these arenas? And do you know why everything... Everything feels small. That's what's wrong with this. And I don't like it. I don't like the fact that everything feels tiny. That Like, the arena is so big. And, you know, we're talking about a huge, giant terror bird. A big rhino. Look at that thing! Endlodon! Jesus! And yet, look how small they look in this huge arena. It kind of sucks. Okay, come on. Come on, Andrew Sarkis. Oh yeah! Oh, look at that trembling mouth! That's awesome! So, one, two... Three kills it. We have to go for the one extra. And <laughs> look at that snarl, man! Nyam, nyam! Oh, down goes the piggy. Oh, sliding in kitty. Right. Please go for four. Or two. Hmm. We can kill it in one hit. It can kill us in three hits. We're going to have to go... We're not going to see as full... You know, tell you what. We'll, um, we'll kill this and we'll have another go. At least we get to see its victory. I just want to see its full-on attack, though. That would look awesome. And here's me thinking it was going to howl. <laughs> I thought it was going to go, Ay! but it didn't. Oh, oh, taunting me with the aquatic pack. Yeah, like there was any chance of me winning that. Uh, so let's do this again. Um, hmm. So we've seen all the creatures now. I think that's everything. So we'll have it in there, I think. Well, I'll use the first mammoth to get loads of turns up. We're, we're going to lose this one, I'd imagine. I just want to see what its full-on attack is. I don't think we've seen uh, kiwi birds, though, either. Ooh, Smalodon level 30. That looks nice. I think I've seen its level 40, and its level 40 looks awesome. It looks like an evil cat. I don't know, like something in a cartoon. Like, you have the Smilodon pride, and then you've got the bad one. He's like Scar from the Lion King. L Lion King? You know, James, just just stop talking. Just have, like, Microsoft Sam take over. Whoa. <laughs> So, four reserve, two block. Hmm. Maybe it's possible to do a full-on seven or eight attack without losing. Possibly. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four kills. I'm factoring two just in case. And he did go for two. That's good. <laughs> Throw rocks at it. Ah, my head! Oh! It didn't play fair. So this guy's got six. He goes for five. Oh, throws rocks as well. Okay. Um, right. Now, I'm going to save you. Because it didn't go for a full-on attack. So, I'm going to go for four reserves, one block. Ooh, okay. I like the InGen logo at the back and the Jurassic World logo. That's very reminiscent of, like, old-style Jurassic Park. I like that. Right, okay, let's kill you with as least goes as possible. As least? As less? As few. There you go, as few goes as possible. All right. Okay, comes in the cat, can kill me in three hits. So he's gonna have to have six. Or oh, seven's good too. Goes for six. Oh, it would be nice to see the cat's like animation from his side. 
But Anu Sarkis, come on, full on some. Let's see it. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, okay, that's a bit close for comfort. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I'm trying to remember Andrew Sarkis is from Jurassic Park Builder, but it was um, it was sort of similar. I think it like lunged towards the camera. I keep saying like too many times. God, it's annoying me. I like, like, like. Gotta have that more coin. Love the coin. And that I think is gonna have to wrap up this episode. We've we've maxed out. Oh yeah, sorry. Gotta get the food. Oh, almost maxed again. Put all the coin in. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of people- Oh, this moves now? <gasps> this does stuff! Or is that just me? No, no, now it does stuff. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people have been outraged about them losing their DNA building when they run out of VIP membership. And I think that's something that Ludia should clarify. If you do run out of membership, then this is gonna go. Because it's sort of like a catch-22. If you- If you- You know, you don't want VIP anymore. You're like, oh, I've got everything, it's fine. Well, you've got to say goodbye to your VIP, your, sorry, your DNA building. And the thing is, this DNA building, you know, it's level 6, and I've renewed this like three times now. And I still haven't got it maxed up. I can only collect once every 12 hours, and I've got to do that another 20 times. So that's another 10 days, if I do it, exactly when it clocks over, which is very rare. Um, so it's probably about 22, 23 days, possibly longer. Um, sorry, well, maybe, yeah. 10 days if I did it every time. Yeah, it's probably going to be about 20 days for me to max that up to level 7. And I wouldn't imagine level 7, that's a weird number for it to be maxed on. I'd imagine maybe level 8 or level 10. So God knows how long that's going to take you to get a max DNA building. And I think it's going to be about 3,000 DNA, is it? No, it can't be 3,000. It'll probably be a, thou a thousand DNA every 24 hours, I'd imagine. Every day you get a thousand DNA, but it's a lot. But when you're end game like this, it's not really. And I'm wondering if the DNA building gives everybody the set amount of DNA. So if you're level one and you have a DNA building, is that going to give you the same amount as it would a level 75 like myself? Because a thousand DNA goes a long way for a level one player. But then again, if you're level 1, is spending VIP, like, membership the best way to do it? I feel like if I was to go back and start again now, because I started back when the game was changing and it was doing loads of different things, I feel like maybe the game isn't as easy to play anymore. I don't know. I could be wrong. I've... You guys can tell me in the comments. Also, I've noticed they've added shading to a lot of the buildings. You'll notice the uh, security towers or the ACU towers are a lot darker. The same with this. This is where I noticed it on this uh, coin collecting tower, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's really dark, <laughs> kind of off-putting. Like sometimes in the past they've had like dark shaders on and then they've taken them off, but it seems like they've put them on again. So I think what they should do with the Glacier Arena is make it smaller. It seems so big and so empty, and you've got this huge megafauna, but they look tiny because they're in this huge, like, massive arena. It should be smaller, and they should be closer together, so it really feels like you're in a battle and you're up against a saber-toothed cat instead of the saber-toothed cat looking like a dot. Especially if you're playing it on a phone, I would imagine that you wouldn't be able to even see the enemy. They're that far away, or that small, so, uh... Yeah, that's a, that's a pointer, but I also noticed in the normal battle arena, the cameras pulled away even more. When I was doing like the VIP battles and stuff, when you're in the visitor center, I could see the Indominus Rex's tail, like the end of it. Um, so it seems like with all of these battle arenas, they've zoomed out the camera. Um, I didn't feel like the aquatic arena felt too big, and I think that's because... They take up a lot of space because they're moving around in all directions, floating up and down, left and right. But with glacier creatures, most of them are quite compact. Like, the actual creatures themselves, they're quite small and they don't, you know, fly all around. And it just makes them seem really tiny and they sort of lose all presence when they, you know, you get a cutscene when they run in. It's like, oh, that's awesome. And then you zoom out and they're tiny again. It's like, come on. <laughs> make, make the arena small or make them bigger. 
either way, I think it's a win-win. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Hopefully, uh, I'll see you in the next um, Glacier video when they release something, a new creature. And don't forget, you can uh, buy the t-shirt if you want to and help support this channel and uh, the road to getting towards a beanbag plushy pteranodon, which I would love. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.